Hello, Mr. Roberto. Hello, hello. Mr. Gilberto, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Are you cold today? Uh, yes, I, 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 I feel cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's really. Well, it's here is a little cool too. Last um, night, last uh, night it was uh, it was really warm, but today is cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roberto and Danny, I think, are listeners. Cause. So let's see. If... Good evening. I thought you were doing something else, Mister. I'm ready for the class right now. Great. Excellent. Yes. Okay. I see we have also Israel. Hello, Israel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Gabriela, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Let me check who is going to be out today. Because I've been getting some messages. Andres, lady. Well. Those are the only two messages I got today. Okay, let's see if we have somebody else joining us. This is our session number 18. I feel like it's time has flown. Especially these last days of the year go by really quickly. I don't know if you have heard that January, for example, it feels like it has 80 days. <laughs> but December feels really short.
Okay, Rodrigo is here. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's get started because the time is flying. Okay, I'm gonna start by checking the attendance. Let me see here. Okay, I see Danny is here. Let me see. Um, okay, Danny as a listener, Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Andres is driving right now, so he hasn't connected. Eh, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Yes, teacher. Okay, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas, not here yet. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura is a listener. Okay, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Maria Leticia Religino Gonzalez. I don't see Leticia here. She's not here yet. Uh, Mauricio de Jesus Buruca Velasquez. Not here yet. Rebeca Maria Cardona Juarez. Not here yet. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Santiago. Not here yet. Um, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. I don't see Sofía either. Uh, Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadino. Present teacher. Okay, great. Thank you. Rebecca, welcome. I see you're here. Um, okay. Well, eh... Today, we're going to, as I said yesterday, um, we're going to dedicate some time to finish uh, what we prepared yesterday with um, your group. Remember, you were, uh, you spent um, half of the, well, the second part of the class working on your brand, basic brand profile and also talking about your personal brand, right? So, um, let's see. I think Rodrigo and Israel shared their profile for Pollo Campero, but we were missing, a, I think, two more groups. Uh, we had Mr. Gilberto and Andres, and we also have, as far as I remember, a Julio and Lady, right? Um, and Rebecca with the with their profile as well. So um Mr. Gilberto, can you share your profile, the one you work with Andres? I guess you have it here in the chat, right? In the WhatsApp the chat. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Um, okay, let me, I, okay, I'm going to share what I see here in the chat. I don't know if that is what you're going to present. This. Eso es? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Solar panels. Three product branding. Indicate what does your business product do? Uh, and my partner in I, I uh, solar panel. What problem do you solve for your customer? 
provide cheap energy for home because you don't pay tax. tax. And uh, who are your who are your three uh, my competitor, direct or indirect or indirect? And the case uh, the geothermal plants e hydroelectric plan, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. What is the primary message? Is it, do you want to convey to your customer? Be a friend of our environment, our environment. Mm -hmm. and, and what are five adjectives at work the best describe your company? A low price, clean energy, free energy, easy to install. Okay, great. So this is uh, the profile, the brand profile for solar panels. Solar uh, panels. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> something that caught my attention in the first part was that you provide cheap energy for home because you don't pay taxes. <laughs> but that is, uh, I mean, I don't know if that is because people buy their panels and then they don't even need to pay anymore. I mean, you buy the panel, you install it, and that's it, right? You don't have to keep paying something else, right? Like, for oh. example, with the electricity that we are getting right now, every month you get a bill, right? An electricity bill. But in this case, I guess you are referring to that, right? That you buy the panel, but then you don't need to pay anything else. Is that right? Yes. Okay, okay. Very good. Um, okay, great. Everybody, let's give a clap to Mr. Um, Andres and Mr. Oh my gosh, I had a lapsus. <laughs> <laughs> Se me olvidó su nombre. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Mr. Gilberto. No problem, teacher. <laughs> Se me desconectó una neurona. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oops. Let me see. So, okay. Well, um, next group is Mr. Um, Julio and Lady. Lady is a listener right now. I don't know if, Julio, do you have the document to share where you answer the questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca. Okay. Ah, Rebecca is a listener too, so I don't know if she's ready. Well, uh, um, she shared something in the chat yesterday, I remember, but let me see. I I guess it wasn't like, uh -huh, the image is not there, only the, it's black. Everything is black. I don't know what happened there. Do you do you have the document, Julio, or? Oh, yes, I see. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, we see the screen. Okay. And the uh, product we we choose is um a Uber service. Uber service. Mm -hmm. Uber service. Okay. If uh, in the question, what does your business do? Uh, mm -hmm. What is give to the people the opportunity of transport 
of transport then in a personalized service. In our question, uh, what problem do you solve to your customer? Uh, is the, the problem we are, that uh, we solve what? is the possibility of moving, move, moving uh, from any place to another in a comfort, uh, comfortable, a comfortable. And I, I see siempre no <laughs> comfortable. Uh -huh. Comfortable. Uh, okay. Uh, who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? Um, we identify a uh, in driver, uh, mm -hmm. taxi service. Um, in the last one is a public transport service. Mm -hmm. The question: What is the primary primary message uh, the one to convey uh, to your customer? Um, the answer is that a uh, or that our service guarantee uh, tra travel in a comfortable, safe and personalized and vehicle. In the last one, the question: uh, What are say five adjectives or words that um, best describe your comp your company? Is missed a uh, a little air. Are uh, number one technological, number two digital, and number three innovative, and uh, number four global, in number five adaptable. Okay, adaptable. Great. Adaptable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay, in this case, it, I think the information is great. I would just uh, correct in the spelling for comfortable with M. In English, we write it with M, but that, that's it. Uh, uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, what is your recommendation? Is a... Uh, ah, no. I, I mean, the spelling is with M, comfortable. M, oh. M instead of N. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me, I'm gonna type it in the chat. Okay. Um, like this. It's about the pronunciation? No, the spelling. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. you okay, see? but the the information hello tiro chat gpt no fuimos así pura thank you ya se me había olvidado que usted era fan de chat gpt sí. <laughs> okay yes good good that's great julius that you didn't use chat gpt okay let's clap for Mr. Julio and Lady, especially because they didn't use ChatGPT, right? It was their own work. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, well, so I think that that was it, right? We had three groups on this task, and um, also the second part of the task was related to. A, the personal brand, right? So in this case, I ask you to do it um, orally, like you would be asking each other the questions and um, providing the answers. So right now, what I'm gonna do in order to check how you would answer those questions, I'm going to um, choose some of you to help me answer the questions. It's like I'm going to interview you right now, okay? So for example, I'm going to choose, let me see. Um, let's see, Sophia, are you participating? I don't know if Sophia told me she's a listener. Let me check. I forget, oh yes. She's driving right now. Okay, so no, not Sophia. Let's look for somebody else. Um, okay, Roberto. 
Roberto Carlos. Eh, okay, let me share the screen. Okay, so I'm going to ask you these questions the, about personal branding, okay? So let's start with what service do you have to offer to people, Mr. Roberto? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, this question is a, is a personal information. This is like about your services. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what service do you have to offer to people? Mm -hmm. In my case, I I offer I offer service uh, a taxi. Sometimes I work like a uh, Uber, and ah, mm -hmm. and I I offer this this service to to different people in on weekends. Ah, okay. So in this case, you can say, I offer transportation. I, I offer, offer transportation to. Okay, to I offer transportation. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, the next question. What do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? What makes you different from everyone else? Okay, uh, with the second question, what do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? For example, in my case, I, I like to... I like to to service. I like to offer a good service to the to the people. For example, um, I offer a good price, a good discounts. Uh, depends on the on the distance. And I offer uh, sometimes I I I offer a uh, a drinks to to the people like a uh, soda or water. Oh, great okay that's a, a, a an innovative um way to yes. to, to, start, to travel yes okay next question who are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves okay uh, right now uh there are a lot of com competitor because um, because many many people work like a uh, like a Uber because mm -hmm. um, because the um, the authorities don't have a control about the transportation in Uber uh, for that reason this is the the biggest competitor but in my case i i work with the with the people the the better forms uh like i offer a good service good scum and mm -hmm. only that okay okay in this question everybody this is something to think about like you need to know your competitors right and i mean you need to know who your competitors are and also what they are doing to brand themselves. For example, in the case of uh, transportation, uh, maybe what, what some of them do is that they uh, lower, they may be lowering the price, right? Um, and uh, that is, I would say one of the easiest or fastest a ways to um, to get more customers right um so it's in, in this part it's important that we know who we are competing against and also what they are doing to position themselves in the market okay moving on what do you want your personal brand to convey what is the message you want to share with with your customers Okay, and with the with this question, 
what do you want to your personal brand to convey in my opinion i i i try to to transmit the the good service to to the people and and they know they know feel the difference with my service with the other person mm -hmm. okay uh, uh in this case well i am commenting because i want everybody to to take you as a model mr roberto uh, in this case for this question something that i will consider important is to be a uh, specific right for example when we say i want to share that i offer a good service what do you mean by good service because when we um, say good uh, it can be a little ambiguous right so um, in this case well you're saying that you provide a beverage to people who travel with you um also uh, in this is in this specific example of transportation probably one of the remember we need we also need to think about the value right the value that our cost or what our customers value from our service and well in i'm right now i'm speaking as a customer if i use uber for example or if i travel by uber by taxi etc uh, the most important value for me is safety safety okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so just so One, you can think about that mm -hmm. okay what did you say i'm sorry uh, on honesty that honesty ah honesty yes honesty, honesty. very good mm -hmm. that's right okay i get it okay and the last one what adjectives do you want people to associate with you um because you are the product okay. and why mm -hmm. Okay, uh, with the last one question, what adjectives do you want to people to associate with your with you as the product mm -hmm. and why? Um, for example, it's similar to to other question. Um I want to to the people associate with me with my brand is a uh, is honesty and mm -hmm. uh um the different like the other transportation is I am I am very very sated with the with the transportation and with the situation in the country. Mm -hmm. And for that reason I, I want to know the the people think about my brands mm -hmm. uh, because um, because I I offer a good a good favor with with these values. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say honest, safe. Those are the adjectives that you would like. Safe, people... Innovation. Okay, innovation. Great. Um. So well, uh, because of because we need to go on with other topic, and a different topic today. Um, I'm not going to interview somebody else. But uh, what I want you to, to know in terms of these questions is that uh, they help us um, like think about ourselves uh, as, a, as a brand, right? Okay. Uh, in most of the, I mean, here we are talking about our professional uh, career. However, uh, sometimes our professional career gets mixed with our personal values as well, right? So yes. in our case, when we talk about personal brand, eh, it's sometimes it's kind of difficult to differentiate your professional eh, self, let's say, with your personal self. But... Um, I would say that the idea of personal branding is that we can uh, balance, right, 
uh, what you do as your as a professional or like the service you provide and uh, as a human as a person right as an individual so i hope that these questions uh, help us like analyze a little bit about our careers and how we want to be seen especially by companies or a potential customers if you work as an entrepreneur, right? Um, because some of us work for companies and some others are their own, they have their own business. So in any case, you need customers, right? In both cases, you need customers or you need people to hire you or people to buy your product or your service. So uh, in both cases, you need um to have a personal brand okay do we have any comment or question regarding these questions related to personal branding had you ever um, thought about your personal branding or like something similar to this no well, it's a good exercise to think about about you, as I said before, eh, as a professional or depending on the service you provide. Okay, um, well, here at the bottom of this page, we have uh, the self-assessment activity, okay? And in this case, we are going to assess um, this ability or this skill. Now I can sketch the basics of the branding process for a person or a company. Okay, can you do it independently? Can you do it with occasional help? Or only with help? So take a moment to think about that, right? The ability is I can sketch the basics of the branding process for a person or company. So if you do it independently, check there with occasional help or only with help okay well that is self-assessment you don't need to share it but it's always good to think about how much you have learned Okay, now we're going to continue talking about branding. Mm -hmm. Hello. And in this case, we have the objective for this lesson, identify the brand components of well-known national brands. Okay, and as usual, we start with a question. Okay, um, it says, the first question, is a weak brand a good investment? A weak brand, a good investment. Mm, first of all, I will say, think about examples of weak brands. What would be an example of a weak brand here in El Salvador? Something that we have here in El Salvador that is a weak brand. Big cola teacher. B cola. Okay. Okay. Why would you say it's a weak brand, Mr. Israel? Because my, many people say that B cola, the taste of B cola is so different than Coca-Cola and Pepsi. It's, ah, okay. It's too it's too it, it, it they add too much sugar to B cola. And oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So, okay, that's an example, right? A, let's say the quality of the taste is not the same as the 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 stronger brands, right? Coca Cola and Pepsi. Okay, but here, okay, now that we have this example, is this kind of brand a good investment? What do you think? This is an open question for everybody. Is a weak brand a good investment?
it's not good for investment. Okay, Roberto thinks it's not good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gilberto, what do you think? I think, teacher, uh, the consumer no, no, uh, no, no have uh, uh, como que el cliente no tiene valor para probarlo o volverlo a comprar, no sé cómo. Ah, ok. The customer doesn't take risks or doesn't risk buying yes. the product. Mm -hmm. See the customer doesn't, doesn't risk. Doesn't risk uh, okay. in all the price, you know, quality is important. Uh, mm -hmm. A imagine, a imagine the promotion, the product. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you for your opinion. So. We have two opinions saying that is not good for investment, right? Okay, we have another question. Let's let's check the other question. What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Like, for example, the big cola that Israel mentioned. What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Well, and here I think we can take a little bit of Gilberto's uh, answer, right? Because he was saying that customers don't take risks, okay? What else? What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Let me see, I'm going to ask uh, someone specifically. Uh, let's see, Rolando, what do you think? Are you participating today, Rolando? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Uh, the question that happened when uh, a brand name does meetings, a customer's expectation. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think uh, about the, the question, to the customers uh, provide a product is is no good the the no no buys the product okay the customers consumers in this case don't buy the product okay thank you yeah. sofia go ahead hello teacher i think yeah. that when the uh, brand doesn't need customer expectation the sales don't reach the expected percent of sales and the, the malls falls down and the product maybe disappear from the market. Aha, okay. So the product may disappear from the market. Uh, remember the, the life stages of, I mean, this had the stages of the, um, how do you call it? The, life cycle of a product, right? The last one is decline. So at that point, if there is no, I mean, if the brand doesn't meet the consumer's expectations, the biggest danger is that the product enters a decline stage, right? And as Sophia is saying, it may disappear. Okay, very good. Um. Can you think of a brand here? Well, uh, we have Big Cola as an example, but any other brand that um, was made to disappear from the market because they didn't meet uh, the expectations from consumers? What examples do, do we know here in El Salvador? Teacher, maybe it could be an example the ginger soda. Ah, okay. Okay. But it, it used to be popular or 
well, what I remember is that they there was a a time when it became popular, and then apparently they uh, discontinued it, and they brought it back, and then it wasn't popular anymore because there was a change, right? Or I don't know yeah. if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, so the ginger soda. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, so those are the opening questions. Now uh, we have a model conversation, okay? Um, and there is Andrea and Vincent. Read the converse, we're going to read the conversation and we're going to practice it. Okay, um, let me see. Give me one sec, please. Okay, I think, uh, well, first I'm going to read this conversation for everybody, just so you can check the pronunciation in case you are not familiar with some of these words, how they are pronounced. And then I'm going to ask you to, well, I'm going to make pairs in order for you to practice the conversation with your partner and also um, uh, answer the questions we have at the at the bottom here, there are some, well, not questions, but we need we need uh, to complete that exercise, okay? Based on the conversation, of course. Um, okay, so let's read the conversation and then uh, I'll give you a chance to practice. Okay, so Andrea says, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. And Vincent says, I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. And Andrea says, I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. Vincent says, the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, so that is the conversation. And so I'll give you the chance to practice it with a partner, uh, but also I want you to pay attention to some expressions that we have in this conversation. For example, feather, um, let's see, regardless, okay. Um, I'll buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. What all the fuss is about. So the word fuss, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but Check that vocabulary that may be not familiar to you. Okay, let's see who we have here in order to make pairs. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, let's assign some of you. Um, Gabriela, I don't know if you are participating. Can you please confirm? Okay, teacher. Yes, great. Okay. I am Andrea. Oh, no, I mean, right now I'm making pairs. So you're going to practice with, with a partner. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, just give me one second here. I'm going to, I'm, I'm making the, the pairs. Okay, very good. Everybody is in a room. Now we're going to go to the room and we're going to, remember we have, a three tasks. 
Number one, practice the conversation. Number two, check the new vocabulary. Number three, uh, complete the exercise we have uh, below, which says per word, okay? So see you. Las preguntas, ¿verdad? Ok. No sé si tiene a mano usted la conversación. No, no le tomé captura. Pero voy a ver si la puso aquí. La... Sí. En el grupo no lo han puesto. No, no, I haven't done it, but I can do it right now, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. And also I'm going to share the, the exercise. Okay, there you go. What? Uh, they are selling shoes that can make you can make you float. 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 No, float. Uh, float. Uh -huh. Ah, float. Ah, perfect. That's it. Okay. Float uh, like a uh, feather. Uh -huh. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. Um, but a brand that delivers what, what it promised made customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe uh, they really make you faster. Make you fa make you faster. Make you faster. Mm -hmm. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. So um, if you want, we could repeat the, um, the dialogue and I'm going to start and then you follow me.
Okay, look at the conversation and complete sentences below. Brenda delivers what it promises. Uh, I think I will buy a brand that delivers what it promises. Mm. Makes customer buy. What is promises? Uh, a brand that delivers what it promises. Is, um, what it promises eh, no no la entiendo muy bien sinceramente o sea que en la en la segunda intervención de Andrea dice I wouldn't either but a brand that delivers that it promise makes customer buy it regardless of price mm. O sea que ahí tendríamos que completar esa. It's from my. Session complete the sentences below. A brand that delivers what it promises. A... Mm. Ahí, ahí, ahí iría la palabra. En ese ah. caso sería maze, maze customer buy. Sería may. Maze. Ah, makes, makes. Maze. Ajá, makes. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. Ya, 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 ya. Ah, sí, tenés razón. Ya sé, ah, ya, ya te entendí. Sí, o sea, solo es la, 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 la palabra. Que la oración. Para, uh -huh. Ajá, ok. Makes, ajá. Y... What is the first? Teacher. Hello. I had a question. Uh -huh. uh, what is the pronunciation for? So, as no sé, for? What's the pronunciation? The first. The first. 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 Mm -hmm. Like what is also? what is the first? The meaning of first. The meaning. I mean, I don't know if you are asking me about the meaning, the meaning of first. Yes. Ah <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, first is like um all the noise, all the what all the 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 excitement is about so it's a synonym of noise or excitement like when when there is a new product that is calling everybody's attention that's what they call it the fuss like everybody wants to have it for example mm -hmm. i don't know the latest iphone or uh, a good example is for example the the, the i don't know if you I guess you 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 know like you know when when uh, this this lady from TikTok Janira Berrios started to sell a uh, how do you call it it was the product um ay ya se me olvidó cómo se ah chonguenga <laughs> Everybody was talking mm -hmm. about chongenga. Uh huh. So this is a good example that the fuss, right? Because everybody is like wanting to try the product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like alboroto. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La bulla, el alboroto. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So this expression, the first, 
uh, we use it, okay, in this context. And also like, for example, uh, when there is a famous person around and everybody wants to meet this famous person, then also we can say, what is what is all the fuss about? What is uh -huh, what is all the fuss about? What is going on? It's because everybody is like, you know, wanting to 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 meet this famous person. I don't know if you heard a. I I'm I'm not sure if it was this weekend or some weeks ago, but um, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, but my neighbor started to, I don't know, change the tires or something. It was so noisy. No, I was going to give you another example. Like uh, some some days ago, there is this, this famous YouTuber. I don't know if you know him from El Salvador called Alfredo Larín. And he was going to be in Metro Centro. And everybody, like, well, there were lots of people who wanted to meet him. And so we can say, what was all the fuss about with him, right? Like, because he is a famous YouTuber, everybody wanted to meet him. So that's how you use it. Mm -hmm. Did you finish the exercise as well? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Well, I think everybody is done. So we're going to go back to the room and we're going to check the exercise together, okay? Okay. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Um, so I'm going to ask some of you to help me with the vocabulary, and then we're going to check the answers to the exercise together, okay? So let's, let me share the screen to focus on the vocabulary first. Okay, um, let's see, Gilberto and Gabriela. Can you share one, one word that you needed to look up? Which word did you look up? Uh, did you check? And, uh, feather, feather. Okay, feather. 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 Mm -hmm. What is a feather? 
Yes, what is a feather in the other world? Yes, but what Rick. is the meaning? What is the Rick. meaning of feather? Did you look it up? Did you search the meaning? The other word teacher no uh, understand regard regardless. Regardless, okay. Regardless. Aha, uh -huh. but my question is, did you look up these words that you don't know or you just identify them? Yes, teacher. Feather, I don't know that that mean the pluma. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the it's it's part of the it's a what can I say? Like it's what covers a feather, just to explain it in English, a feather is what covers um, the skin of birds, right? It's characteristic of birds. It covers their skin. Mm -hmm. Feather. Okay. Well, let. I'm going to ask everybody. So for you, this would be your word, feather. Okay, let me ask somebody else. Thank you, Gilberto and Gabriela. Let's check, a, okay, Israel and Julio, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. what was one word that you needed to look up? We were discussing with Julio about the word fuss. Aha. Uh -huh. And fuss. we were searching on Google Dictionary. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Fuss meaning, just give me a second. Fuss, mm -hmm. uh, just give me a second, please. I'm searching again. Ah. Ah, um, it said, as a noun, a display of unnecessary or excessive excitement, activity, or interest. Uh -huh. As a verb, shows, show in unnecessary or excessive concern about something. Or in Spanish is escándalo o aspaviento o preocuparse o un malestar. Okay, very good. Yes, I discussed this word with... Um... Rolando and Sofia as well. Uh, we were talking about several examples too. Um, so uh, it may be something, let's say a little positive when you'd say that it's a synonym of excitement, right? But also it could be negative when it has to do with um, like people are not, are not happy about something, right? Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, well, Rodrigo and Roberto, what, what is your word? What, what other word can you share that you were looking up? Hello, teacher. Hello. We are talking about the new world in this conversation, it is the same word, uh, feather, regardless, and, and false. Okay. So tell us about regardless. What did you find about regardless? Uh, regardless, the translate is uh, the toda forma sin importar. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I mean, I want you to see how they are used as well. Like in this case, for example, with regardless, we need a, well, usually is, usually it goes this way. Like you, you, you use regardless and then off. It means like, if we translate it, right? In este caso sería a pesar del precio. So you need to add like the complement, right? For okay. example, I can say, um, I did, uh, let me see. I fell asleep very quickly, regardless of all things I needed to do before going to bed. Okay. okay. 
Uh, so uh, it, we use it most of the time. We use it. If you say regardless, and then you add like um, let's say the the complement, the idea that complements a pesar de okay. tal cosa. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Is there any other word? Uh, I think I'm missing Sofia and Rolando. Do you have any other word that you look up? You looked up. No teacher, anyone? No. Okay. No. Okay. Good. Now I want to uh, just correct some pronunciation that I heard uh, while you were practicing the conversation. And uh, for example, this this is a, a verb, right? Uh, it says, "But a brand that delivers what it promises." So the pronunciation here is promises, promises, okay? I think that's it. Now, uh, if you notice, we have some phrases that are highlighted or that are in bold. So this, this is a structure that we call causative, causative verbs, okay? We're going to be checking this structure uh, in the next days. Um, but just so you, you see that it's a, um, a grammar structure that we will be uh, checking later on. Now, let's look at the, the, the exercise. Okay, so based on the conversation, we're going to answer these, well, complete these sentences, right? So um, let's see, Rolando and Sofia, how did you complete the first one? Uh, for me, I, I think about the, the question, uh, complete the popular. Uh-huh. Uh, the person, to, the product is popular the, uh, by the product. Okay, but here, okay, right now we are focusing on the exercise, uh, number three. So the first sentence that you see, how would you complete it? Teacher, uh, I think this a brand that delivers that it promised is make the customer float like a feather. Ah, okay. A brand that delivers what it promises makes customers customer float mm -hmm. like a feather. Mm. Well, in this case, actually, we just need a, the verb, okay? So, makes. Uh -huh, makes, exactly. A brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. price. So, uh, just checking or confirming the meaning of regardless. Uh, in this case, it means that it doesn't matter how much it is, how expensive it is. Imagine, mm -hmm. for example, a pair of shoes that is $300 or $400, but if they say that it makes you feel like you are floating, then you buy it, right? So regardless of price. Okay, great. Now let's see number two, um, Rodrigo. How would you complete number two? Uh, they get they get all these people to buy their shoes. Uh huh. Okay, they get all these people to buy to buy to buy these shoes. Mm -hmm. In other words, it means that they convince right that all the people buy their shoes right they make them buy their shoes okay um, now we have a question here and i'm going to ask 
let me see. Um, okay, Israel, what do you think about the question? Or how would you answer this question? Do you agree with the first statement? The first statement is this one. A brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. So do you agree with this? Yes, teacher. I am agree with that um, premise. Mm -hmm. Yes, premise. Yes. Because it's, it's true. Because if you are um, a customer of a product and the product gives you what the advertiser said that is going to give you, for example, if you buy something to lose weight mm -hmm. and that product gives you the opportunity to lose really a uh, amount of or pounds of weight, yes, I'm going to keep buying and that promise that they accomplish that promise and I'm going to share to another customer. Oh, okay, so you will recommend this product. Yes. Excellent. Okay, great. Uh, let me ask somebody else a same question. Julio, what do you think? Hi. Hi. About the number three? Uh -huh. It's the same question. Do you agree? The, uh, do you agree with the statement in number one? Um, sorry, teacher. Um, regardless. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. I agree. Uh... Okay. You agree? Nothing else? <laughs> it does delivers. It's um, a service. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because the client has the opportunity to get a product um, in a um, for uh, in in his house and uh, in a commodity. In a ah, okay. I I get. I get what you are saying, but in this case, Julio, the word deliver is not exactly about when you buy a product and they take it to your home. Okay. Deliver is, in this case, is has a more general meaning and it means like, okay, imagine I sell you a pair of shoes. And I tell you, okay, okay, Julio, these shoes are going to make you feel like you are floating, okay? So okay. Uh, that is my promise, okay? My promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, I got it, uh, yeah, I get it, uh, yeah. Uh, the client have a, a trust or confiance, confidence yes. in, in his product, on his brand, because yes. uh, it, for the clients, it don't import. It don't matter uh, the price exactly. because uh, they get that the uh, say a provider uh, promise. Yes, exactly. Uh, as long as they get what they what the company is promising, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, everybody, I need you to think of a product that you buy or that you have bought in the past uh, that no matter the price, I mean, something that you bought regardless of price, something that you say, mm, yes, it's expensive, but it delivers what it promises. So, uh-huh. Sorry, I comment. Uh, do you use uh, Lotus one, two, three? 
uh, Excel uh, is like an um, Excel. Uh, Lotus, like a... uno, dos, tres, era una tabla de similar a, a Excel antes, mucho antes. En programación. Ah, no, había, no. Ajá, había una versión, eh, the version is calling a week. Uh, what, uh, it's a abbreviation of what, the, what do you see is um, that you get. Ah, okay. Interesting. What you see is what you get. Yeah, because uh -huh. uh, lo relaciono por no. lo de que no. dice la Promete lo que, cumple lo que promete. Uh -huh. Correcto. Ajá, uh -huh. I see. Yes, yes. That is a, an expression that is also used in this context. Uh -huh. Good. Okay, so now everybody, please think of a product that you buy, that you usually buy or that you have bought in the past that you say, okay, it's expensive, but it doesn't matter because it delivers what it promises. Think of for one minute. I'm gonna give you one minute to think about it. And you can write it in the chat or you can share in the microphone. Teacher, could you repeat the question, please? Yes. I need you to think of a product or service, could be, that you have bought regardless of price because it delivers what it promises. I'm gonna write it in the chat so you can see the instruction. Think of or service that you usually buy or have bought Price. Medicine teacher in a uh, uh, um, late of the night. Okay. Medicine, mm -hmm. especially, I mean, of course, here we are talking about that. I mean, we are saying that we bought it because it delivers what it promises, right? Because there is medicine that is expensive, but it is not good. <laughs> it doesn't have the, the expected effect, right? Ah, aha, uh -huh. my digital plan. This aquí is right. Cost me 45. The company gives me unlimited phone calls to any other phone company and unlimited phone calls abroad. Regardless, the price is very useful to me. Okay, excellent. So in this case, Israel is trusting Digicel because it delivers what it promises. Right? Regardless of price. Great. Okay, what what other examples do we have? Let's see. What are your examples? In my case, I will say that one example, uh, something that I don't, uh, that I don't pay attention to price is my daughter's education. Uh, since we were looking for a school to, for her, um, I told my husband that our daughter's education is basically yeah, yeah. the best inheritance or the best gift we can give her 
So we looked for a place that met our expectations and also her needs uh, because she, she has, well, yeah, she has autism. So that is something that regardless of price and also because of course the school delivers what it promises, then uh, we decided to, to pay for it, <laughs> basically. Um, that's why I have to work at night. <laughs> but yeah, that is my example. Let's see, Julio says, medicine, because in sometimes our lives depend on it, of a particular and specific medicine. Okay, I agree, Julio. And unfortunately with medicine, sometimes you don't have any other option, right? Like you gotta buy the brand or in some cases, the medicine that you need for this specific uh, illness, there is no other brand or no alternative, right? So, okay. Um, let's see what other examples we have. Roberto, I always buy Hush Puppies shoes because they do what they promise. They are durable, soft. That's why I buy them regardless of price. Excellent. Very good example. I like Hush Puppies too. <laughs> but I don't have any pair of Hush Puppies. Someday I will. <laughs> Let's see, anybody else? Okay, I'm gonna check one more example and then uh, we're going to change activity because we need to do something else. Let's see if there is any other example. Okay, I don't see any other example. So let's move on. Um, okay, after checking this a uh, conversation, which is like very, um, I mean, it gives us some very basic idea related to what a brand can do, right, with customers, like depending on the quality of the brand, uh, that's also the effect that it will have in a customer's acceptance of it and how much they will buy, right? So uh, we're going to check an article that is related to the five components of a strong brand. Okay, so, well, let me just check. Gilberto's in the company can review our products if you don't. Uh, teacher, se me fue. <laughs> No lo había terminado la, la oración. <laughs> ah, ok. Ok. Well, you can share it later if you want. Or you can share it now in your own words. Ok. Well, um, so we were talking about a branding, right? If they are, remember at the beginning, the question was, is a weak brand a good investment, right? So now we're going to check these components of what make a strong brand. What makes a strong brand? 
Okay, so let's see. I, I, I have it. Give me one second. Okay. Let me see, let me see, here we are. Okay, I'm going to share the link to this, info, to this infographic to the chat so everybody can access as we are working on it, okay? So, Okay, here we are. Um, five ways to nail your brand design. I don't know if everybody is familiar with this word. Nail is kind of a slang, um, which means like to, um, let's, in other words, we could say five ways to uh, perfect your brand design or five ways to make your brand design um, the best, something like that. When you nail something is because you do it really well. You do it perfectly, okay? So it's a, it's a slang. Okay, let's see. We have here, okay, we're talking about five ways. A, to make a strong brand. So let's see, we have, let me check how, how long it is just so we can, it's kind of long. Okay. Mm, I'm going to read the introduction, this part, and then uh, we're going to take turns reading aloud. Uh, and after that, we're going to, okay, I'm going to assign one of these um, ways because we have five. I'm going to assign one way to each of you so you can ask a question, okay? Uh, create a question using the information in the that you are assigned. For example, number one, get objective opinions on your brand. Um, one question that I could ask about this is, um, how can we get objective opinions about our brand? Okay, so it's a question that uh, integrates the information that is in the in the paragraph. Okay, so this is something we're going to do later. But right now, let's focus on reading aloud, okay? So I'm going to start a, with the introduction. It says, whether you're starting a new business, looking to overhaul your brand, or are just looking for a refresh, touching your brand design comes with a lot of considerations and often a lot of opinions from people within your company. Our creative team works on brands every day. As a result, we found that there are five steps that can help your brand development, your brand development go more smoothly and help your brand help your brand become more recognizable and memorable. Let's dive in. Okay. Dive is like you get into the topic, right? Okay, very good. We're going to start with um Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Can you help me read the first way to make a strong brand? Get your objective opinions on your brand. Have you ever thought you had a great idea until someone else points out a blind spot you? Hadn't been able to see on your own? Too often we see brands create their logo, color palette, brand messaging uh, and other brand elements in a silo, but without bouncing your ideas of someone who is specialist in marketing and more importantly, a prospective customer. 
it can be hard to know what is and isn't working. Getting a third party perspective on this decision before solidifying them will help ensure your branding will support the experience you're hoping to offer. Okay, very good. Uh, so here I'm going to be like mentioning the main idea in each case, just so um, you are like getting more familiar with the information, okay? So in this case, basically we're talking about um, looking for specialists, right? Um, because sometimes uh, it's like when we are talking about our children, right? We cannot be objective. As parents, we cannot be objective. Same happens with your product because you have put so much time, money and effort into it you may think that is the best, but that is not objective, right? So you need to look for a specialized um, team or person to help you out, okay? Um, very good. So, well, here we have like some other information, but we're not going to focus on that. We're just going to check um, the... Um, the, the the ways, right? So number two, okay, and before we get into number two, I, I, was, I was gonna say that as Rodrigo was reading, I was like highlighting some words, okay? Uh, for example, let me see, point out. What is point out? Or what is a blind spot, okay? Uh, another one was silo. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, I think those were the ones I, I highlighted. If you want to look them up, go ahead and then you can share. Okay, let's move on with number two. Uh, for number two, we're going to have Rolando. Hello, teacher. Hello. Number two, uh, read. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, number two, clearing definitions of your promotions and benefits. The customer don't just want to know what you sell. They want to know about your brands. Mm -hmm. The microphone and bands above had to greet missions and vision statements that uh, get a uh, uh, get and in period they were the they were they do and they had uh, one themed and commons their benefits is clear and intentions who wouldn't want to be a as a part of one of the following missions Mm -hmm. The microphones, our mission is to empower ever per permissions and every organization on the plane to ask Christ more. I don't know, teacher. I don't know the pronunciation. Achieve. Achieve more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Benham's, our mission is to change people's relation re relationships with money and each other. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to help you with uh, a few words to practice the pronunciation. Let's see. Um, okay, Microsoft. 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 
Microsoft. Yes, and Venmo. Venmo. I don't, Venmo. I don't know if everybody is familiar with what well, this Venmo is not that uh, popular here in El Salvador, but in the US, for example, many people use it for transactions, money transactions, like MoneyGram or, uh, you know, this Western Union, but it's more like uh, from from your cell phone, right? So it's like to make money transfers via an app that is Venmo. Okay, uh, let's see the word inspire. Inspire here, inspire. Inspire, inspire. Okay, inspire. Let's see. Um, okay, achieve. I've shared. Mm -hmm. Achieve. I've shared. Okay. Okay, great. Now let's see. Um, so number two, the main idea here is that we need to have, I mean, a brand as we checked, I think yesterday or two days ago, if, if you remember the video, in the video, we saw that um, the brand goes beyond the product, right? The brand is like the whole soul of your company, right? Of your product. So um, that's why here we're talking about your mission and benefit because, for example, in the case of Venmo, it says our mission is to change people's relationships with money and each other. As I said before, Venmo is a company where you can do money transfers. So they could say, for example, our mission is to help people transfer money. Well, that is okay, but they, they want their mission to be like, to have a, a um, how do you call it? A more profound message, right? So when you say is to change people's relationship with money and each other. So it's like you help people connect with each other through money, basically. Um, okay, so number three, Sophia, let's read number three, please. Okay, teacher. Identify and get to know your target market. Mm -hmm. You can be everything to everyone pinpoint your person who are, are they uh, looking to and what they need and want from your brand you'll want to know everything from their high levels needs to the needy greedy details that get them to buy are they more likely to buy from you if you offer sustainable option which social platform do they engage with the most what colors are most attractive for to them the answer to this question will inform you final brand elements okay excellent so um well in this case we're talking about actually knowing a who you want to sell your product to, right? And getting to know their needs. Now, I want to uh, just clarify in this case, for example, it says pinpoint your persona. So here, the word persona, no es que sea un error, ¿verdad? Que está en español, <laughs> sino que es una palabra que se usa así en inglés, persona, to mean like character, like, um, like, who you, in this case, uh, we are talking about the, your target market, right? Like, who is your target market? Is this a 40-year-old woman, independent professional woman uh, who lives alone in her house with a lot of plants, with her cats? She loves to watch Netflix uh, series. Um, okay, I'm just like, you know, pinpointing my persona in this case. I'm, I'm like describing a profile of my target 
uh, market, right? This kind of person. Or another persona could be a, a 20 year old a young man who uh, lives with his parents. He is studying at the university. Uh, he goes out with his friends every weekend. Uh, they visit um, natural places every when they they want I mean when they go out they like to go to natural places like mountains, the beach. Um, they like I don't know a biking in the mountain. So that is my persona, okay? All the details that make up the target market. That's why it says here. A, that you want to know everything from their high level needs, okay? Like their most important needs to the needy greedy, needy greedy. Look up what needy greedy is, please. Okay, so I'm giving you like ideas on the words that we, we can check together. Okay, moving on, number four. Let's read, um, let me see who else we have here. Uh, Roberto. Okay, number four. Mm -hmm. Create a clear, consistent design. Mm -hmm. When a people talk about brand design, they often talk about the big brands, Google, Amazon, Starbucks, Apple, but think of your favorite small brand. Maybe it's a local restaurant, on online store you shop from, or a local artist. Chances are these small brands have the same thing in common with those big brands. Their brand design is consistent. Customer wants to be confident in your brand. When they get something in the mail, hear your ad on the radio or see you on social, they, they should immediately think of you and what you can do for them. So constantly changing up your color, messaging, tone of voice or overall look and feel can make it difficult to think or to run in a civic way. Keep things consistent and you make it easier for customers to follow the, the bathrooms that lead back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Roberto. Well, um, in other words, or the main idea in this part is that we need to have consistency, right? Consistency means that you're not going to be changing the colors, etc., cetera, or your, the image of your brand often, right? Um, because you want your customers to identify your logo, your colors, your slogan, your tagline, etc. So if you change it, they are not going to, um, I mean, it will be difficult or you will get them confused, right? With many changes. Um, okay, I want to just uh, here in the last part, we have an expression that is kind of uh, idiomatic. It says, uh, keep things consistent and you'll make it easier for customers to follow the breadcrumbs that lead back to you. Okay. Um, this is a reference. I don't know if you, if you know the tale Hansel and Gretel. Have you heard that, that tale? El Cuento de Hansel and Gretel? Yes, teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. So it's a classic. <laughs> right. So this expression that says here, uh, to follow the breadcrumbs that lead back to you is like 
you know, in this tale, Hansel and Gretel's tale, if you remember, um, the one of them was like, you know, as they were walking, they were like throwing a breadcrumbs on the road, right? And those breadcrumbs were supposed to help them find the way back home, okay? So it's a reference to the to the tale. In this case, uh huh. I don't know if someone was wanted to talk to speak, but in this case, what I'm trying to 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 explain here is that this expression is basically related to okay, if you are consistent with your colors, uh, messaging, tone of voice, etc., then your it will be easy for your customers to recognize you right to know who your brand what your brand is what it stands for etc so that's what this expression means okay that they will be you will be easy to find right because of all these details okay um well and the last one okay i will i will let me see, there are a few of you who have not participated. Um, Gabriela, I have, we haven't heard that a lady today reading. Oh yes, we, we, we heard Sofia, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forget, uh, but okay, Gabriela, let's wrap it up with you. Are you there? Gabriela? Okay, I guess she's not ready. So I'll take a volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, great. Gilberto, go ahead. Make a brand plan, a strategy. Mm -hmm. Change are there and some part of your brand design they were never. Today in your last brand refresh, or maybe you are in need of a refresh back down, back down now where to start. The truth of the mem mem matter is that no company had the time or budget today everything from their website to their signage in letterhead and one first swap soup 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 mm -hmm. soup uh, having a tragedy for creating a, a stellar consistent brand that stand true to who you are and speak to your target person persona can help you stay on track and purity, purity what's needed fair. Need help pulling your brand design plan to get together or need some help creating your new brand elements. Okay, thank you, Gilberto. Well, um, basically in this case, we're saying be strategic, right? Be strategic. Um, I guess sometimes, well, uh, in my experience, <laughs> my very short experience as an entrepreneur, uh, I think that was one of the, I, I think I told you, right, that I wanted to, well, um, three people, including me, wanted to have a, a language academy here in our neighborhood. But, well, one of the things that uh, made us fail, let's say, was because we didn't have enough time. We were working full time in our jobs, everybody was working full time, and we didn't dedicate enough time for, like, you know, developing our brand. Uh, so I think the, the last one, this make a brand plan, it's really key because uh, without a plan, it's 
hard to 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 continue right to follow up um okay i want to just uh, emphasize on some expressions that we see in this part aka i don't know if you already knew that it stands for also known as right also known as in other words strategy right strategy uh so be strategic um let me see any other expression that we have here mm. oh this one this is a this is another idiomatic expression in one fell soup in one fell soup in, in one fell soup mm -hmm. If this means all at the same time, like when something happens at the same time, everything at the same time. Um, the equivalent in Spanish, it would be a de la noche a la mañana, okay? In one fell soup. So that's, that's, one how, you, soup. Mm -hmm, that's how you could translate it. Uh, but it means everything at the same time, okay? Okay. And well, there are other words, but um, right now, what I need you to um, work on besides the vocabulary, if you want to check vocabulary, it's okay. But um, I was giving you like the main idea in each part because, um, you know, when, when we ask questions about the material, it, it's like, mandatory that we go over the material again and really study it in order to know okay if you create the question you need to know the answer right so my idea is that okay i'm going to assign one of these um let's say subtopics to a um, to pairs, let me see, oh, but we don't have enough time. Um, okay, we're going to do it individually. So I'm going to give you one of these topics and I need you to create a question, okay? I gave you the example in number one. I said one question that I could make in number one is how can I get objective opinions from my brand, okay? How can I get objective opinions from my brand? Ese es un ejemplo, pero la persona que yo le asigne este tema tiene que pensar en otro ejemplo. Okay. So it's only one question. Just create one question based on the information. Let me write the task here. Create a question based on the information from the okay assign to you from the article okay so let let's start because we well we, we have a few minutes i think we are not going to finish this task but i will assign and if we don't finish you can give me the, the question tomorrow Okay, um, according to my list, the first one is Gilberto. Okay, Gilberto, you get number one. Gilberto, number one. Yeah. Well, permítame, lo voy a anotar para que no se me olvide. Okay. Gilberto, one. Okay. Um, Gabriela, Number two, are you there, Gabriela? I'm not sure, but okay. Uh, Israel, number three. Israel, number three. We're going to repeat, okay, some of you. Julio, number four. Um, let's see. Roberto, number five. 
And I'm going back to Rodrigo, number one. We're going to repeat. Rolando, number two. And Sofia, number three. Okay. Okay, so what do we need to do? Go back to the part that I assigned and create a question you, based on the information in your topic, okay? Of course, you need to know the answer as well <laughs> because you're going to study the part again. Is the task clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You can access the article through the link I gave you in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat. Okay, thank you. Okay, when you have your question, you can share it in the chat. But if you don't have it ready by the class is over, by the time class is over, we can share it tomorrow, okay? Okay. Teacher. Yes, Robert? I had a question. Uh-huh. Um, for me, number two word. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and number two, um, is okay the, the question or the, uh, read the, the paragraph, the definition? Okay. Uh, aha. You need to go over the paragraph again. And uh, the idea is that you can create a question using the information in your paragraph. Like I gave you the example in number one. In number one, we have the, okay, it says, get objective opinions on your brand. That is like the topic, right? So okay. uh, we are talking about how to get objective opinions in the paragraph. So I can create the question saying, how can I create or how can I get an objective opinion from my brand? And the answer will be here in the paragraph. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Well, I'm going to start checking attendance while you are thinking about your questions or creating your questions. And then if you have them, you can share them today. If not, you can share them tomorrow, okay? Okay. So, let me, okay, I'm gonna stop sharing the screen. Okay, Dani Anthony, si buena aventura. Este, me quedó stuck. Okay, I'm sorry, but my computer got stuck. Okay, Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Andrés, Martínez Pérez. He's a listener, I think, today. Eh, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Lady Joan Hernández Ventura, listener. Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. María Leticia Realejeño González, listener. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca, mm, not present today. I don't see Mauricio, let me check. No. Eh, Rebeca María Can Cardona Juárez, listener. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Present teacher. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadino. Okay. You are here as a listener, I guess, Gabriela. Okay, well, let's um, finish. Um, so tomorrow we are going to share your questions, okay? Um, I suggest you write them down so you don't forget. And tomorrow we we start with that, okay? Sharing your questions based on the article. Okay, teacher, good night. Okay. Okay, have a good night, everybody. Okay, good night, good night teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Take care.